I shop online, you probably shop online. In some, we all shop <laughs> online. <right. laughs> it's estimated that 80% of the U.S. population shops online. That's right, and while it's convenient, it often means the company is selling our information at the same time. Well, Tanya is looking into ways to protect your information. You know, online shopping can be an app that you have on your phone or the site that you log into on your computer. Either way, when you created your account, you accepted their terms of service. And chances are you just skimmed that fine print or simply just hit agree without even looking at it. If you have an account with an e-tailer or if you use apps and sites that require logging in, some companies might keep files on you and even sell your information to data brokers which are businesses that collect your personal data and sell it to other parties. Several states have passed laws that allow consumers to designate a third party to make data requests on their behalf, like Incogni, Mine, Yorba, and even Consumer Reports. All right, so let's show you how the apps work. They go through each app that you have, and they let you know if the company is collecting data like on identifiers. This is your like name, email, birthday, address, or if they're collecting location wherever you happen to be, or maybe even cameras or sensors. So you can check the box, do not sell my data, or simply delete my account, and then you send that request. I gotta tell you though, companies typically have 45 days to respond to your request. Most of these data helps are subscription-based, the ones that he talked about, Incogni, Mine, Yorba, but the permission slip from Consumer Reports, that is free, and it covers about 100 different sites. You can start there and then buy the others if you need to to check those other accounts.